Okay, so we're looking at set notation here, right? Um, integers from 1 to 15 inclusive. Now that's whole numbers between 1 and 15. It includes 1 and 15. Okay, we've got A is odd numbers. I'm not going to list them out. Triangular numbers I will. Okay, so that's 1, 3, and you ought to know these actually. All right. So there you go. So 1, 3, 6, 15. So A and that funny sort of end-looking shape is the intersection of A and B. So anything that is both odd and triangular. So that would be 1, 3, and 15 for that one. Now for the second one, A union B. So anything that's both odd, um, triangular, or both. All right, But not that. That's what this means. This little dash means not. It actually... The official word is complement, all right, complement, all right, so anything that is not odd or triangular, all right, so we get two, four, six is triangular, eight, ten is triangular, twelve, fourteen, okay, so there we go, nice and straightforward first of all. Now this second one, students at school, students who study French, students who study German, students who study Spanish. Okay, describe the set F union G means uh, any students, oops, any students who study French or German or both. Okay, so that's what that means. So if it was a if it was uh, a Venn diagram, this would be French, German, Spanish. All right, so it's anything, and I'll just get a different color. So it's anything here, basically. Now then, uh, for the second bit, explain what G intersection S equals that funny symbol there. Now that funny symbol looks like a zero. Essentially, it is a zero. So what that means is no students study both German and Spanish for whatever reason. I really can't write with this pen. So there you go, that should be an A. Okay, so there you go.